All right, guys, so this is the new pizza oven I got. That pizza oven right there is the old one. I'm gonna try to make this video quick, short to the point. Um, this is the big horn. Um, it's $200 on Amazon right now. And at the time I'm making this video of April of 2024, um, they do got a 20% or 20% uh, $20 coupon that I saw last time. Um, real quick, it comes with the handle, the chimney, um the little cap to make sure that the fire doesn't you know go crazy um let me see what else uh we got the thermometer here it, the cool thing i like about it is this window um the one bad thing i don't like about it is that the the soot gets on the glass so you might not be able to see anything after a little bit you can kind of see like the dark area right here starting to form um and then this corner over here i already had cleaned it once um but yeah that's uh that's pretty much that it does come with the stone it's a pretty big obviously pizza oven and look how big this thing is you know it does not come with the pizza uh peel turner um the other pieces it came with was a scooper which they keep like inside the cap um i guess this is like a ash poker and this guy is to remove the back to slide it in and out. Um, there is another a tray, like a grate, that goes inside there. Uh, this opening up top here is where you add your fuel. Obviously, it's actually feeding pretty well. I know normally don't fill this up to auto feed, but it's actually doing it. Uh, I was not expecting it to work that well. Oh, the other thing, too, is to adjust the... Uh, the speed of the burn like you can open this tray that's more air in close it lets less air in so it, you know has a slower burn um things i did buy was a scooper obviously i didn't have that scooper when i bought this pizza oven this pizza oven is actually a 100 bucks this is a cozy if you guys want me to do a, a video on that one i could do a video on that one it is smaller it doesn't allow you to do bigger pizzas more like maybe like a small personal pizza um this one is the bigger one obviously you can see how much bigger it is compared to that little box let me see if i can get back here yeah look how look how much smaller it is it's this thing is huge guys i gotta buy a new table uh because i want to keep it out here i did buy this additional cover from them big horn cover works great fits perfect i'll link that in the description below fire is going right now um other than that i will make a pie real quick and show you guys how this thing burns all right guys so we're in the house now um i usually use this uh simonilla flour i don't even know if i'm pronouncing that right but that's how i say it um I usually sprinkle a little bit on the table or on the granite i should say Um, I usually put olive oil on my hands and I have the spatula over here. Always want to get one of these spatulas. I did buy this also. It's a pizza top uh, or cover for your dough. Allows at least six dough balls in there. Um, if you guys want the recipe for the dough, I can do that too. And you just take it and you just throw it right on top. Put it back over there. And then I just work the dough, right? So I start from the center and I press out. Kind of get my little crust going. Keep pushing out. Usually I rotate around the island. All right, that's that. Now I should kind of stretch it by hand a little bit. The reason for the olive oil on your hands is to not allow the dough to stick to your hands. So that's one way I do that. Um, when you're stretching it, you gotta be mindful. Obviously you see how the inside is a little bit lighter. You can kind of see through the bottom. You don't want it to rip. All right, so two things. This sauce, I love this sauce a lot. I use this all the time. And the cheese, big, big thing on this cheese, right? 
Try to find this cheese if possible. This cheese is amazing. Makes the pizza that much better. Um, I did make my own concoction of pizza sauce, but since this is already open, I'm gonna run the last of this. All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do uh, pepperoni too. So the pepperoni that I use is Here's the pepperonis that I get to as well. Boar's head pepperoni. So we're gonna do that. Bam, bam. Right, so let me get the spoon. I usually get a big spoon. Scoop some out. And then with the bottom of it, I kind of just spread it out. Now this is how I start my pizza. After I get this going, I go ahead and I throw it in the oven. I cook it until I see the edges of the crust start turning brown and I check the bottom of the pizza to make sure that it's cooked underneath before placing any cheese on it. <laughs> All right guys, so I this was nice shiny metal and I threw it in the dishwasher and this is what it turned out. So obviously this paddle is not dishwasher safe, but uh, that's the company that I got it from. It's off Amazon, I'll link it. Just don't throw it in the dishwasher. That's all I can say. Alright, so what I like to do too, I like to get a little bit of flour on here. I got a lot already on the table, so I kind of like to spread it out a little bit even. Boom, boom. Get some at the edge of the pizza. Lift it up and pull it on. And then I usually just stretch it back out again, make it a nice shape. Stretch this guy out. Boom. Pizza's on. Got an infrared gun. Check the stone now. Let's go outside. All right, guys, so we're outside now. The stone, it, the temp is pretty good right now. Temp is at like 500 to 600. If you look inside the window there, you kind of see the flame is a little low which is fine. Um, we're just trying to check the stone now. So we're gonna check the stone. Stone is perfect, 780 degrees. So this bottom of this pizza should cook nicely. Uh, and then we go in here, and drop on, just like that, one swift move. I'll let it go. All right, now, so I usually come back here now after dropping the pizza in there and I'll, I'll come back here and try to adjust the ashes you know, kind of move things around in here a little bit. And then I will close this door back up. Check in here, make sure we're good on fuel. Fuel looks a little bit low. So now... So the, the hopper actually was auto feeding, so it actually went all the way down. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit of fuel now, the pellets. I'll show you what pellets I use, guys. I'm going to just drop a little bit in here. That's it for right there. I don't want to add too much because I don't want the flame to get too high. So, come back over here, guys. Get your uh, pizza peel uh, turner. Check the pizza now. Kind of rotator. Boom. All right. Put that back. Now, if you look inside, you'll see the. You see how the sit is starting to build up on the glass. Um, watch out here because you might be blocking the mic. Um, it's starting to build up on the glass a little bit, but you can see the pizza there. Once the edges start getting like a golden brown, that's when I usually take it out. But I usually rotate it. I put a little bit of fuel in there just to get a fire going, and then I start rotating. And then what I like to do too, you see how like the, the simonella flour started to burn, right? So what you do is you just take your pizza peel and you kind of push it back. They do make uh, 
brushes that you can use. But that's up to you if you want to do that or not. I just should do this. And just push it all over that. And that's it. And then we close her back up again. I'll check the stone one more time. Still good, 655, that's perfect. You want it anywhere between 580 to 700, somewhere around in there. And then um, this is what you want it to look like. See, that's a nice golden brown color on the edges. Now, the base should be, the bottom of this thing should be cooked, see? Nicely cooked. Right, come now. back in here, I'll throw a little bit of sauce again, because we have cooked sauce. I usually put a little bit more fresh sauce on here. This is what I do, guys. You don't have to do exactly how I do it, but it comes out great. I like it. I eat it, so. Now time for the cheese. Get this going. I'm going to open up this cheese. Or you know what? I'm going to keep this cheese closed. I do have some other cheese. This mozzarella cheese. I'm just going to use this since I already had opened it. I'm not about to open a new blend real quick. Even though I do like that blend better. But let's sprinkle this on there. Now, I'm going to grate some Parmesan. Okay, I'm just going to, I got the mozzarella on there from that this bag right here. I did mix it in with this. If you guys can get this, you don't have to do what I'm doing. But I'm just going to put a little bit of Parmesan. Boom. Now, add some pepperoni. Get one for me, and one to the doggies. All right, all right, guys. I just added a little bit more fuel because obviously the fire was dead. If you look inside the window here, see how the sit's starting to build up on the glass. But I got fire going again. The temperature is perfect right now. We're good on temperature, so we're gonna just throw this pizza in here. Remember, the base is already cooked. Bottom is good. We're just cooking the cheese now. So you throw that in there and you lit it and then we wait it's not going to take long to cook so you guys got to be fast about it right back on that's the one thing i don't like about it is the glass depending on how much fire and that's crazy because I got the fuel door closed so the fire shouldn't be as high as it is right now but it is so there's not much I can do about it you can take a little wipey and try to wipe it but I already have an idea of how long the pizza needs to be in there before I need to rotate you can kind of see how it's burning on that edge right there so kind of just keep rotating it I like my cheese a little bit burnt. If you want to cook the cheese faster, there's a, a way to do it. So you get it on here and you just lift it up a little bit to the fire. You know, cook the cheese. That's one way of doing it. But we'll just leave it there for now. I think that's good. Throw the lid back on. You want it like that? Maybe. I can't see no more. I'm oh, sorry. Good? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. lid back on it and there's your pizza guys that's it i'm going to use the cutter that it came with the uh, pizza peel um, i got a rocker cutter so i'm going to use that 
and um, yeah, and some Mike's Hot Honey. Um, I'll see if I can find that in the Amazon links. I'll link that below too, because that is what makes the uh, piece de resistance. It's really good, guys. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know I ran along a little bit longer, but you know, it was unboxing, well not unboxing, but product review and you know, product review. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like it or if you want to find the products, they're going to be in the description down below. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so. Um, I try to do videos of little products that I buy plus, you know, everyday life stuff. So, all right guys, I appreciate you guys watching.